So here we are, we've made our 10 rows. We have a provisional cast on and a contrasting color. We've knit 10 rows. You can see there, this little bobble with the sparkles is our beginning of round. So right now I've knit all the way across to three stitches before the halfway marker, which is the little kitty. So now we're going to begin our short rows to make the heel tab. So what you do is turn at the beginning of the purl row. Your yarn is in front, which is easy to remember when you're on the purl side because that's how you would normally have it. So what you're going to do is slip that first stitch from the left to the right needle. And then you'll move your yarn up and over the right needle. Kind of like you're doing a yarn over, but what it'll do is elongate that stitch that you last knit into and kind of bring it up over the needle. You can see the anatomy of it here. It goes up and over, so it kind of looks like a double stitch with two legs there. So that's what we'll refer to as a double stitch. And then we're going to purl across all the way back to three stitches before our beginning of round marker. So once we get to three stitches before, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to turn it around. And then it's important to note here that you have your yarn in front, which is different than you would usually have it for if you were knitting. So this step just make sure when you are making your double stitches for your short rows that your yarn is always in front before you slip it. So you do just simply slip it from the left to the right needle like you did on the purl side. And then wrap your yarn up and around your right needle. And similarly, it just makes this elongated stitch here that ends up looking like a double stitch. And then you simply keep on knitting until you get back to the first double stitch that you made on the purl side. So once you get back to that double stitch that you made, you're just going to knit right up to it. And I'll show you what it looks like because you may not be familiar with how it looks as you're knitting. So there's the last single stitch that we're going to knit right before the double stitch and you can see how that looks on the needle. Kind of looks like a little bit of gobbledygook there or from from above it does look like a double stitch. And then you turn and you keep on going doing your double stitches on either side until you have five double stitches on either side. I'm going to show you purling across here just to let you see what it looks like when you knit up to the double stitch from the purl side just because again you may not be familiar with what exactly it looks like after you've knit it. It either will be completely <laughs> hard to see or it may just look like you've made a mistake but there's the last stitch before and that's what your double stitch is going to look like when you come up to it. So we'll just Continue on making our double stitches. Like that. Slip it with the yarn in front. And then up and over. And that's all. So I'll see you when we have made five double stitches on either side. All right, good luck.